and so now the form is empty at that time user click on submit at that time it should be show the error right for that what you need to do you need to call one function here uh, like uh, handle error like this right so by this within the function definition right you need to validate the errors like uh, uh, you need to check uh, similarly like if if title dot name title dot value is there then uh, not a problem so if the title doesn't have the value then you can say it uh, title set title how oh, whatever the title there along with that you can update has error is true right so save it go back if you click submit it will show this error right so when the user clicking on submit at that time it will show the error when you start typing it will clear when you remove this it will open and uh, so now we handle the uh, error uh, during the submit as well as during the change so by this way you need to handle the error on submit so similarly you need to do for um, description copy the description check the description value is there or not else you need to update the description error and here you need to do the dot operator so refresh this submit yep yeah. uh, we validate both things and click on submit it will show the things what are the value there and here the value is empty and title is empty at that time we don't need to uh, uh, show any consoles right so if the if the form is not valid then no need to show console so that is the scenario right so for that what we need to do is so we need to create additional state uh, is form valid and set form value so here the default thing is defaultly form uh, form is not valid or because by defaultly when we refresh the page at that time both the uh, input is empty so obviously the form is not valid so that's what i setting the default value is false and uh, here i'm show uh, i'm copying form valid and checking here if form is valid then we can show the console if not we uh, the thing is not showing any consoles right so at what time we need to update the set form valid is so whenever we are updating set title is true at that time along with that we need to we need to set it as um, false um, yeah has error is form valid yeah the form is uh, not valid and in the else part we can set it as true if there is a value then you can set it as true so like this So like this, you can do. Uh, similarly, similarly, you can use set form value to You can write your own logic, whatever you want. I just show some some samples, right? So uh, yeah, it is true. So when you click submit. Currently, the form is not uh, currently the form is invalid. So we type we type uh, that's what it's not uh, showing anything. Anything. So if we click that, it should show here. So when you submit at that time, we jump into this function. Here it will check whether title value is there. Yes. Um. So it will set form valid, and in the description there, it will set um form valid. That is true. Then it should be uh. Show this one. Okay, put debugger here. Go back, submit. So it's directly into the handle error, and here we can see um, title have some value, and it moving to the else part. So it said that is true, and it go back there, and the value have some value, and keep moving, and it make make us true, and after that, it come here, it's true, and it show. The console and the function is closed. After that, uh, some of the some of the callback is happened. I don't know what is that. Yep. So once we click submit, so it show the proper value. So if that is a some value, then it will show. If we refresh and click on submit, uh, clear everything, go back, 
it won't show anything if you're typing if there is a, a value then go back check the console yep check the console it will be there yep so this is the way you need to validate uh, i just do some small logics so in the real world scenario you need to do uh, multiple things and obviously uh, if it is a big application then we should go with uh, some other frameworks like uh, material or bootstrap uh, those frameworks have the default error handling methods uh, for these forms so this is a sample thing so how to handle uh, how to use use state for the uh, for the simple counter kind of thing and how we need to uh, we need to use in the forms form side 